Hello Skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome back to the Disney Quiz Marathon. Today's quizzes are kicking off with, can you guess the movie title without the vowels? Let's see. Okay, that's gotta be Frozen. That's gotta be Bambi. That's Winnie the Pooh. That one is Bugs Life. Uh, oh, a uh, Bugs Life, sorry. Don't. If I can spell Dumbo, Wally, Mulan, Zoo, oops, Zootopia, Cars, Moana, P. Just a P. What is a P gonna get me? I have no idea. Up. Oh, well then, it doesn't even say my score. Boy, we have got a tough quiz for a. I mean, what the hell? Where's my score? I missed one. Y'all know I missed one. Let's move on to the next quiz. So this quiz is what percent mini are you? My friends describe me as sweet. My favorite refreshing beverage is water. I never leave the house without a smile. My best friend is just like me. My relationship status is in a relationship. My favorite activity at a Disney park is the rides. My favorite subject in school was science. My life motto is go live your dream. My favorite accessory is my necklace. Pick a polka dot's color. Let's go red. You are 100% Minnie Mouse. Your style is classic yet you're a fashion icon for all. You're sweet and kind and you also, you're also a total boss and an amazing leader and friend. Thank you. Let's move on to the next quiz. So this quiz is, which Zootopia backup dancer are you? What do you love most about Giselle? I would say her musical talent. Pick a sparkling water flavor. I hate sparkling water, but let's go lemon. Choose a Disney princess. Out of thieves, we will go with Rapunzel. What's your go-to dance move? Let's go with moving side to side with the beat. Pick a Zootopia character besides Giselle. We'll go Nick. Which Zootopia borough are you visiting first? Rainforest District. Pick a Disney song for karaoke night. Close the wind, let it go, I'll make a man out of you. Try everything. When you wish upon a star, what do you wish for? I wish for, hmm, I'll be honest, money. Congratulations, you are back right tiger. So the third one, this guy right here going like, mm, yes, Giselle. <laughs> You are tenacious, clever, and you've always got Giselle's back. As an entertainer, you understand the importance of the arts, and you've found interest in various art extracurriculars, like painting, acting, singing, and poetry. I did love acting in high school. It's actually one of my favorite classes that I ever took. Let's move on to the next quiz. So this quiz is name the Disney villain from the eyebrows. Don't they all have the same eyebrows? Okay, those look like Ursula's. Okay, try Jeff. Far. Evil Queen. Okay, those look like Jafar's. Nope. Lady Tremaine's? Oh boy. Ursula. I'm just gonna keep recycling answers so they give me something. Maleficent? Oh boy. Mother of Gothel? Lord. That was Maleficent, I spelled her name wrong. Ursula, if I can spell today. It's gonna be the downfall of me. Heartless gal. Okay, so let's try Lady Tremaine. Maybe I spelled it wrong. Lady Tremaine? Dang it. Cruella de Vil? A. Captain Hook? Oh boy, Jafar. I'll go with... Oh, good lord. Who can decide for eyebrows? Hey, don't oh, no. We'll just ignore that one, right? Gaston? Oh, shit. Gaston? Oh, lord. Frollo? I have no idea. Oh, wait, wait. Stromboli? Okay. Okay, those are hooks. It's a fee do 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 Javar, oh, thank you. Oh boy. Evil Queen? 
Lord, who can decipher eyebrows? Queen of Hearts. Sorry, Harley. Stacy Brab wants those. Who's devilish face? Lady Tremaine. I am so done with this quiz. Madame Medusa. Good for her. Brow game is strong. So, oh my god. I'm just. I'm sorry, guys. I give up. 5 out of 10. Not bad. Yeah, whatever. Next quiz, I guess. Sorry to get so salty on that last quiz, guys. I just. I'm, I'm kind of tired. I went to. At the time of recording, I went to Universal yesterday. I've just been doing a lot. My brain is mush. My body is mush. I got a decent amount of sleep, but I didn't sleep as long as I wanted to. So I do apologize for being very salty in that last quiz. Just something as tiny as eyebrows. I mean, seriously, why would we know anything about that? I'm, I'm just being honest here. So this quiz has got 100% of this Muppets trivia quiz to prove you're the ultimate fan. What was the first Muppet movie? It was the Muppet movie. What kind of car does Fozzie drive in the Muppet movie? Doesn't he drive a Studebaker? What instrument does Animal play? Drums. Who is the captain of the USS Swine Trek in Pigs in Space? Julia Strange, Pork, Miss Piggy, Link Hogthrob, Howard Tubman. Let's go with Link Hogthrob. What kind of crustacean is Pepe? He's a prawn, but I don't think he's a king prawn. He is a king prawn. Or is he a shrimp? What color are the polka dots on Fozzie's tie? Oh boy. Uh, green. What is the name of Kermit's nephew? Jay? What season of The Muppet Show did Beaker debut in? How the hell am I supposed to know that? Season 3. Who is not an official member of Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem? Lips, Zoot, Ralph, or Janice? Ralph is a part of it. What was the first stunt the great Gonzo performed on The Muppet Show? Gonzo grows a tomato plant to the tune of the 1812 Overture. Gonzo eats a rubber tire to the tune of Flight of the Bumblebees. Gonzo wrestles a brick blindfolded. Gonzo demolishes an automobile to the tune of Anvil Chorus. Let's go with the plant one. Who is the only celebrity to appear in both Muppets from Space and Muppets Most Wanted? Ray Liotta, Jeffrey Tambor, Danny Trejo, or Sean Diddy Combs? Ray Liotta? What was Crazy Hair's original name in the pilot for The Muppet Show? Crazy Mel, Crazy Otto, Crazy Donald, or Crazy Stu? Crazy Mel? What is the name of Ralph's dog sidekick in the Purina Dog Chow commercials? Bakersville, Blanket, Murray, or Jimmy Dean? Blanket. Which Muppet has appeared in every single Muppet movie? Scooter, Crazy Harry, Lips, or New Zealand? Scooter. You got 6 out of 14, so close yet so far. Keep moving right along and study up on more Muppet facts before trying this quiz again. We're moving right along to the next quiz. <laughs> See what I did there? So this quiz is, can you match the scientific name to the Zootopia character? Oh boy. Red Fox. Let's go with Canis Vulpus? Oh no, he says Vulpus Vulpus? Shoot, yeah, I think he says Vulpus Vulpus. Rabbit. Arctologus Kinculus. Okay, I'm not going to even try and pronounce these names. Let's go with the da. Cape Buffalo. Oh, he is a Cape Buffalo. Let's go with, oh boy. Sheep. Ovis. I read ovarian. Oh lord. Let's go with sheepest ovis. It looks like sheepest obvious. <laughs> Maybe it is obvious. Nope. Cheetah. Uh, da Ooh. Sloth. Oh boy. Let's go with huh? lion. Go da da. Yak. Good lord, none of these really make sense to me. North American River Otter. Ha -ta -ta. Weasel. Where do we get these names from the scientific term? Let's be honest here. Fennec Fox. I think it was Vulpus. Nope. Arctic Shrew. Let's go da da. Okay, I got 4 to 12. I'm surprised I got any. Not bad. You know a good amount of animals and probably impress your friends all the time with your scientific animal name knowledge. No, I don't. Let's move on to the next quiz. I have no animal knowledge whatsoever like that. So this quiz is, which Pixar character should you name your next pet after? It's official, hubby. We're not naming our next pets Snoopy or Frank. We're going to name it based on this. Who's your Pixar dream pet? Buster, Doug, Alec, Gazam, or Hal? Let's go Alakazam, he was a cute little bunny. If you were a pet, you'd be a cat. 
fill in the blank. I wish I could have a pet, let's say unicorn. What do you do for your pet's birthday? Literally nothing, because I don't know when my pets were born. Which movie really makes you ugly cry? <laughs> the Good Dinosaur did get to me. Toy Story 3 got to me. I think The Good Dinosaur was the one that made me ugly cry the most. How many pets is too many pets? There's no such thing. It'd be really great if pets could talk, sing, and dance, help with chores, laugh at all of my jokes. I'd help with chores. When you see a pic of a baby animal on the internet, you cry tears of joy, make it your phone lock screen, like it and share it, shrug and keep scrolling. I cry tears of joy. You are most likely to name a pet after a character from a book, celebrity, your favorite food, a brand you love. Probably a character? But not from a book, but that's like the closest thing here. What percent of your camera roll is pictures of animals? I'd say about 50. You should name your next pet Boo. It's the perfect time for your next cute cutie patootie. Boo the pup, boo the bunny, boo the turtle, boo the hamster, boo the snake. It all just makes sense. Bonus points for Boo the kitty. Thank you all so much for watching. All these quizzes will be linked in the description box below. But other than that, I will see you tomorrow. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.